Hey guys, welcome to a podcast. We are in the car with G- or I'm in the car with Jameson. This is already the shittiest thing I've been a part of. No, it's not. This is going to be a great podcast. So, we tend to have really good conversations in the car. No, we don't. And we were just <laughs> talking about when we went to Washington, D.C. We ended up going... It, it, was middle, it was middle school. It was like 8th grade. Yep, and we went on a middle school trip. You can move that in here. No, this is way. fine. All right. Yeah, I want to make sure it's the works. All right. Um, we can put it... Whatever. So we ended up going to see a lot of memorials. We went to the Smithsonian. It was boring as shit. It was fucking boring. And we went to Gettysburg. Ugh. And the Washington, D.C. Zoo. That was fun. Yeah. See, you see, the thing is, the problem was it was a school trip, so they tried to make us learn a bunch of shit, but we were about, what, 80 eighth graders who half of us didn't actually even want to be there, so of course we didn't learn anything. Yeah. I mean, walking around when it was the hottest day to go oh, see yeah. these stupid and, monuments. And every, day, and every day it was 100 degrees minimum, because this was like August. No, it wasn't August. It was like June. June. So, sorry, yeah, I forgot when the fuck. I haven't been in school in a while. I forgot when it ends. <laughs> yeah, so this was like the beginning of June, because we got out like a what the 14th that year so like it was like the yeah. second or third of june yeah it was wicked wicked hot um it sucked i really love the smithsonian simply because i'm a nerd and i really love learning things and i love museums because it's like and the, shitty, ooh, shiny. the shitty part was they had like a nintendo section but it was closed off when we were there well it was getting built yeah it was like we and i was here. fucking pissed because that would have been so cool yeah and um wasn't the reflecting pool also drained when we were there? Because there's so much, like, duck shit in it. Yeah. Yeah, so... DC was just... DC was somehow even more destroyed than it is now well, when we were there. Well, I really liked the, um... I'm really interested in, like, history and stuff. Like, I hate history class, but I like going you to museums. Like, you didn't like history class? I don't like history class. It's, like, so annoying because they're like... In 1812, everyone fought and everyone hated each other. The, the only thing, like, there's more to history than just. The fights. only thing I didn't like about history class was that every year we had to learn about World War II again. Yeah, I know, and you learn about the same shit, and you don't even learn about everybody's history. You just learn about the whites, the white supremacy history, and you don't learn about the huge terrorist attack that happened to African Americans a really long time ago, and all this other stuff. You just learn about like. I think we could just cover that under, you know, slavery. No, this was, like, before slavery. It's just because this world is still racist. But it's just, like, they only focus on, like, a few things. Or, like, oh, what's the name of this general? And I was like, well, why don't we learn about important history? Like, World War II is important, but you don't need to learn about it every single day. Till yeah. Like 12, 12th grade you know, the, the, su- the, the super annoying thing was, that, like, in 8th grade history class, we learned about World War II. And then in English class, oh, we would read shit about World War II. Like, at the same time. And it was supposed to help, like, reinforce the shit, but all it did was make even more of the day fucking stupid and pointless and boring. Well, what they have to do, because I am I was in uh, college to be a teacher, is you have curriculums that the state plans for you, yeah. and it, the teachers even hate it. Like, it's not good. A teacher should teach the way they know, and they try to link all the subjects together, but I feel like it doesn't help. Yeah. Like... It, does, it really... It makes it worse, because then I just... Because this is exactly what happened. I just stopped paying attention in both classes because I was bored as shit in all of them. And I still passed because World War II is the most obvious shit ever. I took a lot of my classes in high school online so I could finish yeah, up early and take more music classes. Well, I didn't and... do it for music. I did so I could have more study halls. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I did it for that as well, but I really liked how I could choose my own learning because I feel like that's how it should be. Like, you shouldn't be stuck in the same rut as everyone else. I mean, I got to take... We both took mythology. Yeah, I suggested you take the mythology class. Yeah, mythology was cool. Mythology, Yeah, mythology was super cool. Yeah, um, I took creative writing. I took AP composition, AP the, literature. Yeah, my the, the online classes I took were mythology, uh, astronomy, astronomy, or astrolo- astronomy, and um, it was like green science or something. Yeah. The only reason I took the green science was because it was... Um, taught by the same teacher who taught astronomy and she was super cool so I was like yeah fuck it let's do it yeah I also took latin one and two wait hold on I can't remember is astronomy or astrology because one of them's actual astronomy space astronomy is actual space astrology is, is the stars is horoscope bullshit it, it's right, not got it. horoscope bullshit yeah it is no. astrology is not real end of story so I beg to differ there's nothing to di- there's nothing to beg and there's nothing to differ it's not real so anyway um we just yeah. got back from Taco Bell yep I have been 
addicted to Taco Bell and I don't know what my problem is. I keep getting a crunch wrap without meat and then sometimes I'll take out the queso and put real cheese, but today I went all out and got quesoed up, man. Meanwhile, I just slammed down like three of those Dorito tacos. I remember those. Those are good. I remember those. What? As if they don't sell them anymore. No, like I just haven't eaten them in a very long time. Because uh, obviously, you can't, I guess you could shove some beans in there, but it wouldn't be the same. Well, I mean, the, it's what you would think Taco Bell, like, I'm, I'm not like on the whole like, oh, fake meat shit, because I, I don't give a fuck what I put in my body anymore. But like, um, you would think like Taco Bell or like a place like Taco Bell would have like tofu tacos or not. Is, would, it be, would you use tofu for a taco? Well, for a taco, we probably honestly, yeah, I personally would just use the soy beef yeah. crumbles. Yeah, exactly, because you think it's like... It's the same thing, it's just... It just you would know, think they would do that just to increase the amount of people they can sell their shit to, you But know? they are actually one of very few restaurants that are certified vegetarian friendly by like some weird association. Wouldn't it be the National Food Association? No, 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 no. It's like a different, it's like its own vegetarian oh. association thing. Oh. So I think that's part of the reason, but also their Cinnabon Delight things, those can have me. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> I love fried dough and anything covered in sugar, obviously, by my body type, so... That's terrible. I know, but it... <laughs> I'm okay, I would rather be fat and happy than skinny and fucking hating myself. That's good. And being like, oh my god, a lettuce leaf! Ah! Like, I would rather just eat oh the cinnamon <laughs> bun and be happy. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> He has this voice, and he just... I, I can do quite a few voices. Yeah. We can all do voices. All two of us? I'm sorry. I'm tired, okay? Well, she she thinks she can do voices. I can. I can do Amethyst from Steven Universe. That's not... It's not that good, though. <laughs> she That's do, where you're wrong, kiddo. She can do that noise, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's well, the same noise well, well, that, well, now I know what the title of this video is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Or like peak, like a uh, Pokemon shit. Like I can be like. You people are getting to see what I deal with every day of my life. Oh, you like it. <laughs> he could do some voices too. I I can do. I I always say I can, but I can't. Yes, you can. Yeah, not really. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. What? It's a reference you're not gonna get. Okay. You know, you see, that, that's my main thing, is making references that no one in the world is going to fucking understand. Because you're, like, 80. Fuck off, alright. He literally has the oldest soul I've ever met in my life. He literally, what do you reference the other day? Like, Charlie's Angels? Shut up! Everyone <laughs> knows Charlie's Angels except you! Yeah, probably. <laughs> I was raised under a rock full of... Yeah, a rock made out of shit. A rock made out of extreme poorness. Because my parents had me really young, so we lived in government housing, I had no cable, I, like, lived off of, like, food donations from churches and shit, and, like, food pantries. Alright, let's not so, make this sad. I'm not making it sad, I'm just trying to let them know, like, I'm not a dumb dunce like everybody thinks I am, I just was literally raised under the fucking <laughs> poverty rock. <laughs> the poverty rock. <laughs> Was it Charlie's Angels that I referenced? I don't remember, but I don't want to talk about that because then I'm just, I just, it's gonna fly over my head, probably like an angel would. Well, because they're like, not a pagan! No, I'm kidding. It's not actually about angels, you know that. I right? don't know this. I've it's, never watched or heard about Charlie's Angels. It's basically that I met about you. like this rich dude who hires like these three chicks to be like secret agents or something. Secret agents, so literally gonna go all and suck his have dick. You ever, by have, the you ever end seen, of it. have you ever seen Totally Spies? No, but I saw Spy Kids. That's not close. I don't. That's fine. <laughs> no, you, no, you know, you know. Fuck off. Fuck Spy Kids. Shark, that's spy, don't you hate on my Spy Kids? No, because it was no Shark Boy and Lava Girls better. Oh yeah, dude. I would. Both of no, them now. No. Stop. When they when they've grown up. Yeah, because Shark Boy's the werewolf from Twilight, isn't he? Or is he the vampire? Yeah. No, he's the werewolf. The vampire was the one who was in Harry Potter, right? Yes. But didn't he? Wasn't he in one movie and then he died? In one movie? Like, wasn't he in one Harry Potter movie and then his character died? Oh, yeah. Because I remember, like, some tweet he said, like, his favorite role was being the kid who died in Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. That's funny shit to me. Yeah, I love the part in Harry Potter where Malfoy turns into a ferret. 
That happens. Yeah. I haven't watched Harry Potter. Boys being a douchebag, and then you see, Mad Eye Moody's like, no, don't be. You see, a you good. see, you see. This is this is this is who I am. I know Charlie's Angels, but I've never watched even a millisecond of Harry Potter. Yeah, he hasn't watched Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Ghostbusters. Yeah, he is. A, he references things from like the seventies and eighties, and he's like, oh, Ghostbusters. What the heck is that? I know what Ghostbusters is. Ugh. I just haven't watched it. Dude, my old, my favorite movie is The Last Unicorn. No. I love that movie. I'm going to make him watch it. It makes me cry, okay, though, no. whenever I watch yeah, it, because but that, it makes but, me mourn to be a child. But the thing is, like, she, you know, she gets on bias when I've seen these things, but if it wasn't for me, she never would have watched, like, fun, like, we just got done watching Avatar, The Last Airbender. She never saw any of it. But that's because I grew up poor without cable. You had cable when it was on. No, I didn't. The show was on, like, 2008. Right, I didn't get cable till like, 2010. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it was. In fact, it was 2010 because it was two years before I started going with you. Oh shit. Yeah. Fucking never fucking. <laughs> she, she gets on my ass, but she has terrible taste in TV. No, I she, don't. The other day, the other, the other day, like it was like a few weeks ago, she was sleeping over at my house, and she made me watch this shitty like Bachelorette <laughs> thing. It was the stupidest shit in the world. Oh, it's Cause, so. Funny. Cause like, cause like it was. I don't understand the point of it. I think they were just trying to like all get laid because that's all of the point of that show. Oh my god, Samantha! But I want to be with him. But, but like, I love his biceps the, better. No, 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 because no. like, because like, because like, no one on that show actually ever stayed like gets married or anything like that. Fuck no. No, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they no, do. They There's do not. one pair that like get married at the end. That's the point of the show. But it's fake. So, so Probably. like, it is. That that would be stupid. So like, there was like a group. There were like all this island or some shit. And like these two bitchy twins like try to go with this one guy and he already had a girlfriend and the entire like hour long episode was about these two dumb sluts not getting it through their head that he just was not fucking interested. Like if this was the other way around, like if it was two dudes trying to like get this girl to go with them, both of them would be in jail right now. Yeah, that is very true. And it was the stupidest shit. And she's sitting there like, oh my god, she's gonna go down. I'm like, can we fucking do anything else? <laughs> like, I wanted, to, I wanted to end my life. Like, it was so, so fucking terrible. I... And then it was a cliffhanger somehow. <laughs> like, somehow the plot kept, the plot kept going. I was like, what the fuck? Nothing happened. I love watching drama. Like, I hate being in it because it's annoying. She, she's that stupid. she's that girl, by the way. I fucking hate drama, but then she'll, like, send me a screenshot oh. of, like, a Facebook fight and be like, this shit's hilarious. I know. Like, I am not a dramatic person because you can't uh, be dramatic if you don't have friends. Uh, you can't be dramatic if you don't have friends. That's, I think you're... I think you're wrong, because I think you're proof that you're wrong. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, I can't really, like, get in a dramatic fight with anybody if you don't have any friends. That's fair. So, when I'm online or whatever, I'm just like, oh my god, this is, like, this is shit going down. I'm so excited. There's, like, things in my life going on now instead of the same robotic thing over and over causing me to be internally depressed. Like, oh, it just god. makes... <laughs> It's just a little bit of action to get me through the motions, okay? But like, oh my god, that show is so bad. I thought it was funny. I don't... No, what, you want to know what's even worse than that show? How many people shit their pants at a grocery store? What? Dude! Oh, 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 I thought you were talking about a show. You're the maintenance guy! You're the maintenance guy in this grocery store! There, okay, I've worked here since April and there's been three people that have shat their pants in the store. Yeah, so, like, so, all over the floor. So I wasn't I wasn't there when this happened, but oh I am God. I work maintenance, which is fans way to say janitor, at the grocery store where we live. And um my uh coworker in the maintenance department <laughs> was telling me how two two guys, two guys had just diarrhea all over the place. Like all over the entire bathroom. Dude, and it was everywhere. It looked like someone took like, one dude went in there and shit his pants, and then another dude went in there and then shit his pants. Like, it looks like someone took a five, like, three five-gallon buckets and just splashed them everywhere. Like, if you feel that like, bad, I, like I, don't go to the grocery store. Yeah. Go to a fucking hospital. Like, I would have I would have quit. If I saw that, like, she's she's a champ for fucking actually cleaning that up. I would have quit. I would have been like, they don't, I, I would have been like, you do not pay me nearly enough to do this. I'm well, no, because with your job, you could t make the manager do it because it's I, not in your job description. You like they would ever forgive me for that? Uh, well, I would be like, you want to clean up th more throw up along with that? Or yeah, because that's the, that's the thing. I was thinking about that actually. Um, store policy: if you throw up, 
whatever reason, you have to go home because we are fucking grocery store, no shit. Uh, if you throw up, you have to go home. If you have diarrhea, you have to go home. And there's one more. And jaundice. So if you're like wicked it's, pale or yellow or sweetheart, whatever. Sweetheart, it's jaundice. I don't know how to say it. It's jaundice. Um, so I was thinking, if I was ever in a situation where I was cleaning up like vomit or like shit, and it made me throw up, I would have to stop cleaning and go home. <laughs> yeah. I would actually have, because that's store policy. I'd have to be like, I throw up, I gotta go home. I, I, I mean, I would probably still clean it up. Just because I'm not that big of a douchebag, but I probably would get in trouble for it. Yeah, but uh, I mean, they'd make sure you clean it really well. Like, you use, like, chemicals yeah. that, like, would slay your skin. So yeah. there's, like... Whenever there's shit or blood involved, I have to put on, like, hazmat shit. And, like, although there's never... There was blood one time, but it was on, like, a toilet seat. So I just sprayed it a thousand times and it came off. Yeah. And it was your blood, actually. I didn't mean to, okay? Like, Sorry. <laughs> My period was like, attack from Titan! Just, attack on Titan. Whatever, sweetheart. it's just no in because my fucking... Never Your mind. vagina's the Titan now? Yeah. Like, my insides were dying but, and but, my period... But if I call it that, I get in trouble. Stop! Fucking... But it was just like... Yeah. Oh my Th that's god. That's another thing about working... If any of you are thinking about getting a job in a grocery store, don't. But... No, uh, you should just don't. not in maintenance. D no, don't ever. But like... Like, these people fucking freak out about, like, the bathroom all the time. Like, there was, like... Oh, my God. Just the, just the other day, someone was, like... the Like, no. Um, Guy. Yeah, this guy named Guy. Real creative, by the way. Don't name your kid Guy. That's just weird. Well, his name's... Real name's Carl, but his... His, uh... We refer to him as Guy. I shouldn't have said his actual name, but okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Did not give him out a last name. Wait, what, why does he go by Guy, then? That's just what his dad always called him. Oh, his dad didn't know his name. Oh, his dad didn't know him. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, anyway, so he, he came up to me. He's like, we had like five people complaining about the bathrooms. Can you like go take care of them? I'm like, yeah, sure. They were fucking clean. They were spotless. Like the bath, there was no shit anywhere. Like the floor was completely clear. Like there wasn't, it, they, they were both completely clean. I didn't do anything. I, I, I just said I cleaned and then people stopped complaining about it. It was totally clean. It was spotless. Uh, yeah, they do bitch at you for bathrooms even though they're fine. I don't understand. No, like, there was one time where, like, Jotty or someone was, like, there's shit all over the girl's bathroom. Like, all over the floor. Like, shit everywhere. They're saying it's, like, a war zone. There was one piece of toilet paper on the floor. It didn't even have shit on it. Oh. And I was like, you know people the most fucking dumb, like, assholes on the planet? Like... No, I just think that since it's a grocery store, they have to take, like, health and, like, people working there very seriously. But no one actually because, cares. Because, like, with a fast food restaurant, they're like, oh, well... You know, you go out to eat, it's your fucking risk, whatever. But, like, oh if it's a grocery store, you are actually fueling people and, like, their lives, you know? I guess. Oh, oh excuse me. I kind of wish I got more soda, but I mean... But, yeah, like, if you guys are thinking about getting a girl at a grocery store, don't. I like working in a grocery store because people actually care. If In my experience, they care for me. They, like, have wicked good break systems. So if you work an eight-hour shift, every two hours you take a break. You have two 15 minutes and a 30 minute. And it's really good to space out every two hours and then go on a break. Two hours, go on a break. And I find it makes the day go by really fast. Um, they, you know, like, we had customer appreciation, or, uh, associate appreciation day the other day. Yeah. And they gave us a huge grocery bag full of all sorts of free awesome stuff with coupons, recipes, a bunch of food, and it was really, really nice of them, you know? Yeah. I never got that from an old job before. Just don't play with that or else you're was... gonna hear it. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, you know, but I, I... Working there has been the best job I've ever had, and I've had some pretty shitty jobs. Like, I worked at a, at a college university cafeteria, and it wasn't the kids that was an issue. It was the... It was the management. Like, oh, yeah. they didn't know what the hell they were doing. And one of the guys made me partially deaf because he wouldn't talk to you about what to do. He would bash pans and plates in your ear until you did something. And one day I yelled at him and I was like, instead of being a dumbass, how about you use your words and tell me what to fucking do? Because now my ear won't stop ringing because you're being stupid. And now it rings like all the time and it hurts. And I went to the doctor for it, and she said there's scar tissue, and I can't hear as well out of this You year. could probably sue for that, you know. I know. You should. I probably should, honestly, but I don't have money right now. Hey, if you can't 
you, if you can't have a lawyer, the court provides one for you. I don't know. But it's like... Yeah, that's something I never got. I feel like the free lawyers are shitty. They, I don't because they get a portion of the money you... If they get your case, they take a portion of the money with them. Well, that's how most lawyers work. Yeah. But, like, it's just... It's just probably my philosophy of, like, if it's free, there's something wrong with it. Maybe. That's just something I've learned over the years. Like, if it's cheap, the something's up. Well, that's not true, because I got this car for $900, and it was originally marked at $1,500. And then your, but then your last car, you got it for about 1000 bucks, and you found out that it was stolen. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, her, they didn't make her give it back or anything for some reason. Yeah, but. they just had me do a bunch of different paperwork. Since I had an official bill of sale, I wasn't the one to get in trouble, obviously, because I had no idea right. this car was stolen. So it's just funny it to me. It's my car now. The guy already bought a new car, so he was like, "Whatever." Yeah, it's just funny to me that like, like they they let you buy stolen shit. Well, this they, isn't they're stolen. No, they're not. No, not this one. The other one, because they're yeah. not supposed to let you do that. Yeah, I know, but they gave me the papers and everything, That's and I like was at the town hall freaking out. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, what does that mean? But yeah, that, that was her first car too. The first car she bought, and then this shit happens. Yeah, but this car has been a really really good car so far. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty sweet, though. Yeah. So she's got fucking rum. It's bigger than her other one. I know. The other one was a 2001 Mitsubishi Spider Eclipse. I mean, uh, there's actually a video about that car on my channel. And, and it was cool. It was like a convertible and shit. It was pretty sweet. Yeah, but Jason is well, really, really, really tall. I'm so not really, really tall. I'm like six foot one. Yeah, you're taller than my dad. Oh. He's six foot. Yeah, well, so? Ooh, there's a lot of cops up here. I wonder who died. Oh, uh, shite. Why do you always assume someone died? <laughs> I always see things in the middle of the road. I was like, not the cat! And then it's like a it's like a stick. And I was like, oh, never mind. Yeah, she's the kind of person who will wait 10 minutes for a pine cone across the road because she thinks it's a hedgehog. I'm not that stupid. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm saying your eyes don't work. That is also true. I have really bad eyesight. Like, without well, you're, glasses. You're nearsighted, right? No, I can't see far away. But by oh, so far, far away, sighted. it's like my arm's length is blurry. Oh, so wait, don't you have astigmatism or something? A what? Astigmatism. Uh, I th wow. I think, I thought you told me in middle school, like, you had astigmatism and that's why you need glasses. I don't know what that is. Just your eyes, it's just a bad with your eyes. Like an eye condition. No, my brother has a cataract. That's different. <laughs> but, like, I can't see far away at all. Like, Jameson sitting in the next, in the seat next to me, he's super blurry if I take off my glasses. Yeah. And this is the normal. So I just can't see. Like, this is a fairly normal sized car, so. Yeah. He was so happy when I got this car. He's like, my legs have room. Yeah. She literally turned up at my house like 9 p.m. Like. Oh yeah. In this car. Like, come check out my shit. Oh yeah. Well, I like this car because there is an issue with it, which is gonna make it so I'm gonna have to run it into the ground. But I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, $900? If I, like, this car is amazing, you know? Mm. Is is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we are almost back to Jameson's house. So this yep. means we are going to have to close off the podcast for now. Make sure to like, comment, hit the bell. You guys know the drill, and we'll see you later. Toodles! You're not gonna say toodles? I'm trying to fucking like bring up the thing so I can so I can turn it off. Like cause your phone sucks. My phone doesn't suck. Later bitches. It